Hi, it's me, Simple Gamima, your friendly neighborhood crab bites enthusiast. Hello, everyone, and today, finally, after many delays, I will be posting now a video about the profit and supplies calculator version 2.2 and I will be showing to you the great features of this Google spreadsheet and I'm sure it will enable you to track your farm's current daily and projected weekly income as well as know what animals are profitable at the moment and to keep track or next week's or coming week's difficulty level which is very essential if you want to plan ahead whether you will huddle your extracts or not. To start with, before you can use this Google spreadsheet properly, I recommend that you watch my Crop Bites vlog number 9 where in that video it will instruct you how to set up the API step by step. So this is the version 2.2. As usual, here is the daily and weekly projections of your income of your farm with extracts and surplus if your farm has any. So previously, uh, the income is uh, combined. So you can see now, uh, I separated so this one is for the extracts and this one is for the surplus so some features that are added in this 2.2 is the addition of pro assets and breed feed calculator now you can add pro assets and it automatically calculates the expenses of those pro assets so in this section, uh, if your farm does not meet the requirements of having at least uh, one truffle producing assets and one pro asset, this will display, uh, as you can see, it displays now that your farm is not capable of making breed feed. So, okay, so let's try to populate this one uh, with and see it in action. So as you can see, my farm do not have any truffle producing assets and pro assets. So let's add, okay, one mud. And still, let's check. So still the breed feed calculator still says that our farm is not capable of making breed feed. So this, so this time let's add, uh, um, I think, let's add a one Attila X, which will give us a one black egg every day. And let's check. Ta-da! Here, you can see now that this farm is now capable of making breed feed and automatically uh, calculates your farm's overall surplus. So, so the breed feed making is, it posts uh, the possible monthly production of breed feed in your farm so what so in simpler terms uh, how many breed feed can you make in one month okay so so you can see by the way the breed feed is added to your farm surplus calculations and currently as you see making breed feed now is not so profitable at the moment so yikes so okay but but if you are into hodling and you are collecting breed feed then it's fine i guess not a financial advice of course <laughs> so another addition here is the shed hibernation if you want to hibernate the whole shed and uh, individual animal hibernation if you want to hibernate individual animals which automatically calculates your farm's profit if you decide to hibernate and stop feeding the animals due to high prices of feeds and water and by the way the calculations here assume that even in hibernation you will still feed the animals during Sundays because of course 
Sunday feeding gives you the highest profit, okay? And here is the shed recommendation, which is what it does, what it only does is it, it just reminds you what shed you should hibernate due to unprofitability. So, so if your shed is not, is negative, like uh, the P1 cow last month, this shed is uh, unprofitable, unprofitable last month. So this one is red last, last month. So now it's all green, basically because the water and feeds now are not, are not that expensive at the moment. So the next page here is the farm sustainability sheet. So some additions include the weekly CBX. Now includes your farm surplus and and previously the weekly CBX here only counts your weekly uh, extracts. So now it also includes your farm surplus if you have any and here is the farm surplus and the shed status and down here is where you can put your farm's current stockpile so that you will know how much your current extracts now with the current prices so this one below here is the same with the farm stockpile but here you can actually simulate the quantities of different extracts and farm surplus so that you can compare it to the next one further below down here is the mint conversion simulator so that you will know how much extracts is needed to get one cbx now this is useful especially if the difficulty level is way below one or you want to simulate how much your accumulated extracts will be if the difficulty level is like 0.6 or 0.5 maybe 0.4 okay so and compare it to the current market prices so next is the here is the animal profitability table which is auto sorting so this sheet doesn't require any input as the data is already provided in the previous sheet or to be precise the first sheet so here you can check what is the most profitable and unprofitable animals with the current market prices cool right <laughs> and finally the last but not the least is the difficulty level calculator which in which is semi-automatic if you ask me so why semi-automatic so so uh, okay okay I, I explain what you're allowed to change in this sheet so what you are allowed to change in this sheet is of course uh, here the currently minted cbx which you can find in the crop bites website and over here the current difficulty level that's it the rest is automatic cool right so now this value here is the difficulty level should not be left blank why be because the first sheet is linked here so if this one is blank then you watch the first sheet in mayhem everything is not calculated okay so so be sure to to update this uh, with the current with the correct uh, uh, difficulty level in that week okay so before I end this video and uh, so now I am formulating now a improved version of this crop bites profit calculator which is uh, I can call it really version 3.0 due to its due to its much cleaner look and simplified version and but still packed with the same functionality uh, with like this version 2.2 and hopefully I can release that next month and it really depends on my schedules and and I will I will update you with that once it is finished so okay so guys that's 
that's it thank you for watching and what can you say about this video or you might you might want to add some features or are there some bugs with the spreadsheet uh, leave a comment okay if you like this video thumbs up thumbs it up and if you like if in, if you are not yet subscribed yet in this channel hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you will not miss any of my videos and you will always be updated with my latest videos so so by the way i forgot to tell you the download link of this crop bites and profit calculator is right in the description and okay so that's it guys good night goodbye and happy farming everyone in the following more days and weeks i will be uploading vlogs tutorials and memes for you to familiarize everything about crop bites see you there